Bye, guys. Okay. Just going to give you guys an update. I am taking anatomy and physiology. And this is a class that I was really freaking out about because I was listening to everybody and their mother about how hard the class was. The class is not really hard. It's just that you have to study a lot. It's like learning a new language. Everything is new, especially if you don't know anything about the sciences. I'm a, I was a business major, accounting, and I really didn't have to deal with any sciences when I was in college years ago. So now this whole thing is just new to me. Uh, the last time I had took biology was like in high school, and that was like right in the 90s. So I didn't remember, I don't remember nothing. <laughs> Put it that way. I don't know anything. Uh, so it's kind of hard for me. Those who just got out of high school who are in my class, they probably got this thing down. But as for me, I have to really apply myself. This is, for me, it's definitely not a class that I can just put things off a week before and think I'm going to pass the test. This is definitely something that I have to study for. And I think that's for everyone. You know, no one should put stuff off, you know, your studying off the week before a test every day so that you won't be all frustrated and stressed out you should be going over the material studying the material and one of the things that has been helping me is this little recorder here that i have and i will record all the terms and where everything is and all of that so that i can have a better understanding of the material because with life and work and kids it's like that study time is really hard to come by so this is my only class thank god and i am applying myself because i really do want an a in this class i really don't want anything below an a <laughs> because i want the best chance that i can have to get into the nursing program and not only that but I'm also studying for the T's and you know what I found out about taking this class and the T's test that the sciences I can answer a lot of questions now that I couldn't answer before pertaining to the sciences because this class touches on a lot of it so that's good and I'm not freaking out about the science portion anymore because I was because many of those questions have a lot to do with anatomy and physiology uh, what else guys so yeah you definitely have to study apply yourself study your labs don't wait to the last minute whatever your teacher gives you modules uh, PowerPoint slides, all of that. Really pay attention to what she's giving you in the class because that is the material that you're going to be tested on. And it will kind of relieve you of studying things that are not necessary because you don't want to study something that you're not going to be tested on. That's like a waste of time. Okay, what else, guys? Work is good. If you guys have any questions, I'm going to class now, and after that it's a lab. I'm going to be here all day, basically. If you guys have any questions regarding, you know, CNA stuff, and because I don't know what else to make a video on, that's why I haven't been making videos. But if you guys let me know what you want to talk about or what kind of topics you want me to touch on, I will gladly do that because I cannot think on the top of my head because my brain is going every which way. Oh. And I'm pregnant. I'm three months pregnant. And that's going to be interesting. I'm kind of in shock. My children are super happy. My husband is so in denial. I think he's going to be in denial until I am in that labor and delivery room because he is out there. I mean, just out there somewhere. I don't understand because my stomach is not normal but he's still denying it he say he's too old i'm too old i'm the one having the thing i mean it well 
him or her so yeah okay guys let me eat my cookies and drink my water I should be eating cookies right but that's all I can eat everything else makes me nauseous and I will talk to you guys some other time bye